Let's start with the first story. President Bakane has left for the United States for a four-day trip. She will, of course, meet her U.S. counterpart and then stop by the Pentagon and NASA. For a rundown of her schedule, we turn to our Hwang Sung-hee. Sending a strong message against North Korea's nuclear ambitions will top the agenda for Friday summit talks. In a meeting with their chief secretaries on Tuesday, President Park said the summit will be an opportunity to strengthen cooperation against North Korea's nuclear development and provocations. In their fourth summit talks, President Park and President Obama are also expected to discuss measures for a stronger alliance. The meeting comes ahead of a trilateral summit between South Korea, China and Japan and follows President Park's meeting with their Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping last month and a summit between Xi and Obama. The South Korea-U.S. summit is expected to be a meaningful opportunity to exchange in-depth opinions on securing and expanding regional peace cooperation in Northeast Asia. Ahead of Friday's summit, President Park will visit the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center to strengthen bilateral cooperation on space issues. The South Korean leader will also make a rare visit to the Pentagon as a measure to reaffirm their strong military alliance. She will then attend a luncheon hosted by U.S. Vice President Joe Biden and meet with U.S. officials and academics to explain South Korea's diplomatic policies. President Park will also be accompanied by the largest business delegation to date, of which 84 percent will be representatives from small and mid-sized companies. Hwang Sung-hee, Arirang News.